It's a good thing I'm not the president. I'm an independent because I would prosecute the people who did it. I would prosecute the people who ordered it, and they would all go to jail. Uh oh. The governor, Jesse Ventura, isn't known for holding back in his latest book, Don't Start the Revolution Without Me, out in paperback now. And Brian, uh, I don't know, do you even want to go face to face with the governor again today? Uh, well, no, I'm just saying. Face off. No, I watched the governor, I watched you on Hannity last night a few hours ago. You just finished up. You are so down on what the administration did between 2001 and 2007. That's right. Why? Why? Because that we now torture and waterboarding. I've been waterboarded, it is torture. I can speak from experience. It was part of SEER training that I went through as a Navy SEAL. And are you okay now? I'm fine. So, so is Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. He's about 60 pounds overweight after it, a great time. It, it doesn't matter. If, if it was okay, then why don't we do it to criminals? When, like, if we've got gang members in L.A., okay, we know that their gangs are going to do bad things. When we arrest them, why don't we waterboard them so we can get information out of them? Do you want to stop because it's against attack? the law. Do don't it. come after me with that nonsense. What's nonsense? Waterboarding, because number one. If you torture someone, what you get is baloney. Well, it turns because, out no. they feel differently. The CIA feels differently than you do. If you read the 175 pages, they talk about we got this guy, we get Humbali, we get his brother, and it happened by they corroborating all this different evidence from the material they got. And they only waterboarded three guys. And on top of that, I want to know how you feel about the light deprivation, when you talk about uh, not uh, sleep deprivation, when you talk about high cold, when you talk about bugs. Does that all bother you? Yeah. Why don't we why don't we do that with our people in prison and jail? Mm -hmm. Ticking but, time. Bomb. So how else should we find out information from these terrorists? Well, you find out information uh, like these guys. They let they they got more information from them. It's documented before they ever waterboarded them. I find it in okay. Why didn't we the water? FBI wait, says that the CIA doesn't. You wait. wait why don't out. we why didn't we waterboard McVeigh and Nichols then? You there were more them. people. There were more people that they thought involved in Oklahoma City. Why weren't they waterboarded to get information? Because it's against the law. You, and and if we're not good, wait, if we're not going to be a country, if we're not going to be a country that goes by the rule of law when it's convenient or inconvenient, then what do we what stand for? What country do we have if we're all on fire? If buildings are blowing up? If people are jumping out of skyscrapers? You want to live in that country that you live? In, if you worked in the CIA, you wouldn't do everything you can to keep those people safe. I wouldn't torture. But what about the difference between you bring up Timothy McVeigh and gang members, and maybe those threats weren't as imminent? As the threat I don't think these threats back. are imminent. You didn't think after 9-11 that, that America felt that the threats were imminent, that more could be coming? Maybe, but I think our behavior has caused us to be in more trouble. Now, they won't release these photos. Why? Because they know the Muslim world will go irate. They're all after Nancy Pelosi. When did she know? When did da, da, da. Well, if we hadn't a torture, it'd be a dead issue, wouldn't it? It's not, Let's go to the real torture. issue. It's called you, it's it's enhanced interrogation. Because Dick Cheney made Makes up a no, new but word. the CIA told him that word. That's say, we need to get Khalid Sheikh Mohammed Abu, Abu it's, it's torture, my friend. Don't you, and, that, and I've had it done. Have you been CIA? waterboarded? What? Do you want have me you to? Been water yeah, no, get waterboarded. You know, and then we'll ask you. Yeah, well, Let me what, waterboard you. I'm not blowing you. up America. I'm not trying to destroy this country. I'm not trying to fight against democracy everywhere we go. These people, Neither are, are they. These are the people that cut off Danny Pearl's head, and you're worried about their welfare. No, I'm not worried about their welfare. I'm worried about what our country them, stands for. Are you afraid for? of getting them radical? I'm you're worried about what this our defense? country. Well, where's it going to end? We have to end where is it when end? they're dead. Really? Yeah. What, well, how when Al Qaeda you, loses, have when you they enlisted? decided their philosophy. Have you enlisted or are you just talking? No, am I just talking? You want me to enlist? Yeah. You don't like our armed forces? Go walk the walk. You, don't talk the so talk. So wait a second. So if I'm not in the military, I can't pull for America? Sure you can. Yeah, and I can't but fight don't for tell, America? But you, you, don't, you ain't right. fighting for All right. us. Yes. While they continue to battle it out, so if you're we're going to take military. a quick break. We'll be right back. Uh, just a review uh, on the regular show. Show here's the question we had at the end. Uh, should, should, in the in the in the to be totally just, you believe that uh, Dick Cheney, George Bush, and the whole administration should be prosecuted for their acts. It's, uh, it's just, Governor just Jesse Ventura. Ventura. Sure is with us. But uh, but you, if that is the case, then we should prosecute. Uh, we should have prosecuted Harry Truman. Should have prosecuted uh, Abraham Lincoln. Should have prosecuted uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Are you for that? They're dead. But if you talk about justice. They're dead. So if they were, would about you prosecute reality. them? You're giving me a hypothetical that's I'm giving bullshit. You a, I'm, giving you a, I'm giving you a hypothetical because you're making up your Rosie O'Donnell-like scandals. 
that says that 9-11 was an inside job. Well, why are, why are you not allowed to ask anything about it? No, why would you approach the government to ask, I, I approach the government I read to ask everything questions. possible. I watched you all the hearings. You, you're you have right. Not. I haven't read. You looked at my reading list. Have you read the 9-11 report? And you think it's a piece of fiction? No, I believe everything in it. I believe. Uh, my government's never lied to me, have they? Let's see. Where should we start? The Gulf of Tonkin incident? Now that took us into war in Vietnam. They've now admitted it was a lie. So 58,000 of my generation were killed based upon a lie. What but that, that doesn't count, does it? I what does that have to do with 9 11? That shows that we will lie to go to war. We've been doing it for years. We will continue to do it. The Gulf of Tonkin incident, did you believe that? Well, you See, probably weren't alive then. Um, I apologize for not being alive then. Well, uh, it won't happen again. <laughs> well, uh, so, yeah, I was I'll, alive. Okay. But 50, and I remember our president sitting on TV telling us right. our boys are floating in and the because water. Of that, and you'll never believe anything. False. And because no, of that, you'll never believe anything. But that they either. lie all the time. I, have you been in government? No, I have. All right, so that's for. So I've never why been in the NFL, have, but why, I can watch a football why, game and why, judge what's okay, going on. Why do we have the CIA embedded in all state government when their mission statement says that they're not? The question. You, you, do, if you just say one thing. You don't think the CIA has our best interests in mind. You don't think our intelligence branch. I has never our said best any of that. But that, your questions and conclusions only lead to that one statement. That you think everyone's against America. Uh, no, the government's that's against not America. True. Always remember, dissension's the greatest form of patriotism. Tom Jefferson said that. Tom, you were alive then? No. Uh, You're going to insult right, me I got to go to radio. Yeah. All right, Jesse. Uh, take care. He's leaving. Jesse, I hate. I do. I do have to say that I think Brian probably has read every word from the whole 9/11 situation. He's passionate about it, as you can see. Well, I am too. But and, mm -hmm. and I agree with you that there's been covert activity over time, no doubt, where the government has not told its people every single thing that's gone on. I don't think any. They rarely do. Time. But. But when it comes to 9-11, are you so sure? No. That, okay. No, but I ask questions, mm -hmm. and what perturbs me is that you don't get answers. Nobody wants to talk about it. This event that changed our entire history of our country, mm -hmm. why aren't we allowed to discuss it? Why aren't we allowed to ask questions? The moment you do, you get a reaction like he gave me. Mm -hmm. How dare you? How dare you question your government? So what are your questions? My, my questions are simple. I worked in demolition. I'm a former frogman, underwater demolition team. I know how to blow things up. How could the buildings fall at the rate of gravity? Basic physics tells you that that's, that can't happen. Yeah. And how did the cement get so pulverized just simply from falling? It was blown into dust. What energy was required to pulverize all that cement so in the dust. So what conclusion do you draw? I don't know, mm -hmm. but I certainly question, and yet I'm attacked when I question. You notice how if you bring up 9-11 and they have any questions about it, immediately everyone attacks you over it, tells you you're crazy, calls you Rosie O'Donnell, insult you. Why? Mm -hmm. Because I ask questions? I think a lot of people, Jesse, figure, well, you know, that 9-11 report came out and it said it was those guys over there, it was those Al-Qaeda guys. So people just go, okay. They've formulated an opinion yeah. in reason manner, and that's what happened. Now, they can't know for sure that all of that happened, per se, but, you know, you do ask a lot of questions, and that's what your book, is about. Don't Start the Revolution Without Me, is about. It's and about I, asking and, questions. And I thought in our country th that was good. And in this country, I thought before 9-11, it was good to ask questions. It was challenge good authority. To challenge authority. But now, apparently, we've changed to where you're not allowed to challenge authority. You have to accept what the government tells you, keep your mouth shut, and stay in line. Well, that's not the America that I served as a military. I served because, to me, defense of free speech, popular speech... The First Amendment doesn't need to be defended. It's unpopular speech is why we have that amendment. Mm -hmm. You question 9-11, you're asking unpopular speech today. Mm -hmm. So you would also like to question the Obama administration. It wouldn't just be the former Bush administration. Oh, I'd like to question everybody mm -hmm. on it because to me it doesn't, what happened that day, there are so many unanswered questions and even the, even the relatives, you saw the protests at the 9-11 and since when do you bring in witnesses that don't have to testify in open where they're brought into closed door rooms and allowed to testify but, together? But let me get you